not a clear lake where boaters are being cautioned by the Iowa DNR to operate safely on the water as we head into the Labor Day holiday. And for more, we turn now to ABC 6 News Iowa reporter Alexander Schmidt live from the shores of beautiful Clear Lake. And Alex, what can you tell us tonight? Well, Robin, as you know, there's going to be no shortage of people enjoying the beauty of this clear lake in the next couple of weeks. And the Iowa DNR really depends upon boaters and jet skiers to combat uh, invasive species and keep them out of clear lake. And here's the one we're talking about today, Eurasian water milfoil. It's an invasive weed that grows on the lake bed, but it can easily reach the surface and get caught up in propellers, chopping up the plant and spreading it even further. Iowa DNR fisheries biologist Scott Grummer told me that the DNR treated a 140 acre section of the 3000 acre lake uh, this week, luckily before it reached the surface. The herbicide that we use has no restrictions for swimming and boating, so recreation can go on as it always has, um, and no impact to, to using the water, but uh, just trying to head off this invasive plant before it gets lake wide. Like any non native invasive species, they tend to outcompete the native plant community that we desire in Clear Lake. Still, though, Grummer told me that boaters and jet skiers should be very careful to avoid any areas of vegetation that they see on the water surface. And invasive plants don't just pose a danger to watercraft, but they can choke the lake's whole ecosystem. That's why the Iowa DNR imposes fines for transporting non-native species. And remember, it's crucial that when your craft exits the water, that you make sure that it is cleaned, drained, and dried of any vegetation or animals that could travel from body of water to body of water. And at Clear Lake, there are stations at every boat access that can help you get that clean, drained, and dried. Live in McIntosh State Park in ah. Ventura, Iowa, on the shores of Clear Lake, Alexander Schmidt, ABC 6 News.